dear students and my dear viewers welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about supraspinous uh, ligament which is um, one of the part of um, intersegmental ligamentous system of the spine now in this session we are going to discuss about um, intrasegmental ligamentous system this uh, system includes three ligaments one is the ligamentum flavum this one is ligamentum flavum here you can find this ligamentum flavum so why it is called intrasegmental so this ligament is present within the mobile segment okay it is, it is not crossing the uh, other mobile segment which is present in between um the two vertebrae that is called intrasegmental system okay one is ligamentum flavum another one is the intertransverse ligament this green one is the intertransverse ligament and this part in between the spinous processes of uh, adjacent vertebrae will find the interspinous ligament interspinous ligament one is intertransverse um, ligament and ligamentum flavum all these three forms the um, ligaments in intra segmental ligamentous system so in this session we are going to discuss about one of the important ligament that is called as ligamentum flavum so here you can find this yellow structures in both the figures or the ligamentum uh, flavum okay this ligamentum flavum is a short and thick elastic ligament which connects lamina to lamina and it is also a paired ligament so on the right side as well as the left side we can find this ligamentum flavum okay and this ligamentum flavum is short thick and it is an elastic ligament which connects lamina to lamina from uh, c to c3 okay that means um, from c2 c3 to the sacrum so this ligamentum flavum is present from c2 to c3 to and to the sacrum okay and it forms the smooth posterior surface it forms smooth posterior surface of the vertebral canal so it forms smooth uh, posterior surface of the vertebral canal okay so this is the attachment of the ligament and this ligament is also called as yellow ligament because the fibers which are present in the ligamentum flavum consists of 80% of elastin fibers and 20% of collagen fibers so the high percentage of the elastin fibers that is 80% which provides or which gives the ligament um, the yellow color and also because of this elastin nature it is having um, a nature called a flexible nature is present for this ligament okay and then then if you see the arrangement of fibers in the ligamentum flavum on each side on each side right side as well as and left side the fibers uh, consists of two portions the fibers consists of two portions one is the medial fibers and the lateral fibers so medial and lateral fibers on each side of the ligamentum flavum consists of medial fibers and lateral fibers now we will see how these fibers are going to attach um, in between these two lamina okay yes here you can see 
the posterior view of the spine okay and in this picture you can see the um, ligamentum flavum on the anterior aspect okay these are the ligamentum flavum on both the sides here we can find the fibers here so these are the medial fibers okay these are the medial fibers here you can find this medial fibers this medial fibers joins on the anterior aspect of the lamina that means here so the medial fibers attaches from the anterior aspect of the lamina of the uh, above vertebrae and it is going to attach on the posterior aspect the fibers run in between the two vertebrae in between the two adjacent vertebrae and comes posterior aspect and attaches on the uh, inferior lamina on the posterior aspect okay so that means so it starts from the medial fiber starts on the anterior fi anterior aspect of the above what laminae above laminae and runs downwards and come backwards and gets attached to the posterior aspect of the inferior adjacent laminae so this is the attachment of the middle fi medial fibers of the ligamentum flavum if we see the lateral fibers so this lateral fibers runs anteriorly so this lateral fibers um runs anteriorly uh, in front of the facet joints and forming the uh one of the anterior capsule that means it gives uh, some protection or reinforcement on the anterior aspect of the facet joints mainly we can see such kind of arrangement in the lumbar region so here you can see in this picture so this blue color um, uh, you can find this one is the uh ligamentum flavum so the, so these are the medial fibers and if you see the lateral fibers here so this is the facet joint the lateral fibers on the anterior aspect it covers the anterior aspect of the facet joint and gives support to the facet joint on the anterior aspect so these medial fibers which um which are attached on the posterior aspect finally these fibers are also uh, fused with that of the interspinous ligament interspinous ligament so these are the structure of the ligamentum flavum and its attachment now if you see the function if you see the function of the uh ligamentum flavum okay so this is um, one of the strongest ligament we can see um in the lower thoracic region so the ligamentum flavum is strongest in the lower thoracic region strongest in the lower thoracic region and it is weakest in the mid cervical region okay so although the highest strain in this ligament occurs during flexion so during flexion what will happen so so this is the flexion what will happen during flexion the ligamentum flavum is going to stretch okay so the highest strain we can see in this ligament during flexion okay when the ligament is stretched and also this ligament is under constant tension even when the spine is in 
न्यूट्रल पोजीशन ओके बिकॉज दिस लिगमेंटम फ्लेवम बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स इलास्टिक नेचर द लिगमेंटम फ्लेवम सर्व टू फंक्शंस वन इज इट क्रिएट्स continuous compressive force on the disc this creates continuous compressive force on the discs okay which causes the intradiscal pressure to remain high okay the raised pressure in the discs make the disc stiffer and thus better able to provide support for the spine in the neutral position so this is the Uh, one function of the ligamentum flavum okay and because of its highly elastic nature uh in this location it is advantageous because the ligament will not buckle on itself during movement okay once during flexion it is going to stretch and again it comes to its normal position because of its elastic nature so here buckling will not takes place if any buckling of this ligament takes place what will happen so the ligament will um, buckle into the vertebral canal so if it in, if it buckles into the vertebral canal what will happen it may causes compression to the spinal cord okay so this is not happening here this is not happening here because uh, of its uh, elastic nature okay so these are the two important functions of the ligamentum flavum and uh, we can say uh, particularly this ligament also limits forward flexion particularly in the lumbar area okay in the lumbar area it raises separation of the lamina so these are the main functions of the ligamentum flavum in the next session we are going to discuss about uh, intertransverse ligaments thank you